In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get an Ivy League education for a small, tiny, tiny fraction of the cost of formally attending an Ivy League school. And that is through online courses, certificates, and specializations through edX.org. One of the most popular online learning platforms out there today, which I'll be reviewing here. So stay tuned. Hey folks, Richard Walls here helping you with career development and personal finance. And if either of those subjects are interesting to you, do make sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you get notified of when I post new content. So with that said, let's get to it. Now just to give you a quick background, edX was actually started back in 2012 by some scientists at MIT and Harvard. The goal was to make available for free a variety of courses from some of the top universities in the world like, well, MIT, Harvard, Yale, and those are just some of the Ivy League institutions that are included here, but of course, it extends globally to some of the top institutions in the world, all of which are listed on the website. And simply put, the content that these universities and organizations create would then be hosted on this platform. And since its founding, edX has grown to be one of the top online learning platforms out there. And they've done quite a lot in the way of expanding everything that they offer. Now, apart from offering courses for free, they also partner with many institutions and actually employers to offer professional certificates, which you, of course, pay for. They also offer boot camps and executive education and even bachelor's and master's degrees that are relatively affordable. So there are plenty of opportunities and options for you to skill up and advance your career. So let's first talk about what you'll find when you arrive to edX.org for the first time, which as I go through this, and if you want to follow along, I've actually provided a link in the description below to edX.org that you can go and explore. So make sure to check that out. Now, when you first visit, you'll obviously want to create an account. You'll have a profile and there you'll be able to have a dashboard of all the classes that you are taking. And after you do that, you can go to the homepage and you have a drop down menu of a few different options. On one hand, you can simply navigate by the subject that you are interested in and you will see a number of courses related to that subject, or you can just immediately explore some of the more formal programs that they offer. As I mentioned before, the professional certifications, the boot camps, the degrees, et cetera. But we'll put that aside because I'll be bringing those up into the conversation as we go through everything edX has to offer. So starting off with the subjects, if you select the subject, you'll then see, of course, all the courses that are related to that subject, but you'll also see some other courses that have another designation, which suggests that a certain course is a part of a bigger program. So in the case of a professional certificate, that's a designation that edX gives to a series of courses that are designed to complement one another, which is to say, instead of just taking one course on a subject, you can take a professional certificate, which is a compilation of courses, which would give you more subject matter expertise, will give you a deeper knowledge of that subject. In terms of a value add, in terms of it being a more compelling story than just, I just took one course, to add that to your resume, that's going to be a much stronger boost to your value as a potential candidate for a role. And really that's ultimately what you would be doing all of this for. So whenever you pursue a professional certificate or a bootcamp that I'll mention later, any of these things, it's designed to send signals, right? You learn on your own, of course, but it's designed to send signals to prospective employers that you have an interest in developing yourself in terms of growth as a professional. And curiosity is a wonderful trait to have that's very difficult, if not impossible, to teach someone. Someone has to naturally be curious to want to learn more and to want to improve themselves. So employers will see this in a very positive light. But whether you go the route of a professional certificate or simply a course, Let's talk about what it looks like to sign up for a course. Here you have the option to enroll and they give you a set period of time in which to start and end the course and it gives you weekly deliverables to complete. Now really this is designed to keep you and hold you accountable. It gives you deadlines and this is something that you can sort of set yourself 
But again, it's something to keep you on track and keep you motivated. But the good news is that if for whatever reason you need to step away, maybe life is getting a little bit too chaotic, you can always come back and finish the course at a later point in time before the end date. Or in many cases, especially for courses that are really popular, you'll see the end date come and go, but then they'll offer that session again sometime in the future, at which point you can just pick it up then. So when you enroll, it'll prompt you on whether you want to pay for the certificate, which allows edX to verify your identity and your completion, and you earn a certificate that you can then show on a resume or on LinkedIn. Or you can also just audit, and this is going to be your free version. So if all you care about is the knowledge, or if you're still trying to figure out whether this particular subject is actually going to be interesting to you, then this is going to be a good option. Now the good news is if you don't elect the professional certificate option, and you just do the audit, and then you realize halfway through the course that, hey, this is fascinating, and I do want something to show for it when I finish this course, you can still elect to have the professional certificate later. Now this is the user interface for a course. While it's not my favorite, it is intuitive enough where you can navigate different sections of content. You have the courses divided out by weeks and you'll have links to assignments as well as video content and those are going to be your lectures. And as you go through the content, you have some additional resources available to you in the form of community discussions where you can get help. The forums will vary course by course, but there's a link that will contain all the forums related to that course that you can participate in. For some, it might be a Facebook group. For others, it might be a Discord server. There's a number of different options out there. And during the session in which the course is taking place, that's when it's going to be most active. And that's part of the reason why you want to start while a session is live as opposed to going back to an archived version of a course because at that point in time there's not that community activity going on. You can't really get your questions answered, at least not easily. But nonetheless, you have that option there and it's a really good one. Community is a really big part of the learning journey. So to the extent that it's possible, you do want to be engaged and you want to learn as much as possible here, leveraging that community. And lastly, when it comes to assignments and exams, this is going to vary quite a bit by course and by the assignment itself. Assignments can be multiple choice and whenever you submit, it's automatically graded. There can also be open-ended question and answers as well as essays and these are generally going to be peer reviewed. And you may also find that some exams are proctored, which means that you'll need to have a working webcam as well as audio while you complete the exam. So now that you've seen what a course looks like and you know that a professional certificate is simply a series of courses bundled together, let's talk about some of their more interesting offerings like their degrees. edX, through their partnerships with universities, they offer full-fledged bachelor's degrees as well as master's degrees. Now, by and large, most of the content, if not all of it, will be done or will be offered through the university, whatever platform it is that they're using. And edX just happens to be the place where these universities are promoting their programs. And these are full-fledged degree programs which you have to go through an application process like you would any other degree program with any other university. Now the requirements by university and by program are going to vary. So if there's any university or any program that's interesting to you, you'll need to investigate a little bit more what the requirements actually are. However, you do also have the option through edX to pursue a micro bachelor's or a micro master's. Think of this as a gateway to a degree. With a micro degree program, you're actually getting a small subset of courses that you would ordinarily take in a full-fledged degree program for whatever subject it is that you're doing this for. And upon successful completion of this micro degree, you earn a certificate, which in and of itself may be good enough for what it is you're wanting to do or needing to show to prospective employers. It still serves as that valuable growth signal to prospective employers that I was mentioning earlier. But the best part of completing this is that it improves your likelihood of getting accepted into a formal degree program at a number of different universities. And that list is specific to the micro degree that you did. And if you're accepted to one of those degree programs, you can actually claim the credit from the courses you already did 
towards that program. So you're already getting a bit of a head start. So a micro degree program is a really great way to say dip your toe in the water for a specific degree program. And it doesn't require you to make that full commitment to a degree program. And if you complete it, of course, you still have something to show for it at the end. And of course you can make the determination at that point in time whether to pursue something more formally through a degree program. Now, outside of singular courses, professional certificates, and degree programs, if none of those seem like an option to you, just wait because there are yet more options. Because you'll also see boot camps and executive education. Now, boot camps you might be familiar with because these are very popular when it comes to the field of coding because there's a lot of people trying to get into that industry or into that job field. But basically, boot camps are an accelerated program of anywhere from three to six months, depending on the program. And it's a super hands-on learning experience where you learn way more by doing than just simply studying. Now, this is relative to a more formal degree program where I would say that generally the ratio of studying to actually doing is maybe about 40, 60. 40% 40 of the time you spend studying and 60% of the time you spend applying it. And at boot camp, it's maybe more like 10% studying and 90% just doing the work. Obviously with the intent that by doing it, you learn quite a bit more. And it makes sense because you've got this three to six month window where you're trying to absorb all this content. They're really trying to cram a lot of information in and you pair that up with exercises and drills and projects to get you up to speed on the subject as quick as possible. With the benefit, of course, being that you complete the program sooner and hopefully at the end of it all, you have some project experience and some work that you can show to prospective employers. The one note about the boot camps is like the degree programs, you actually apply through the university or through the organization itself. It's not on edX actually. And for that matter, the other option here is executive education. And this is done in the exact same way. So you can earn a certificate directly from these institutions. And when it comes to executive education, they're generally going to be anywhere from eight to 12 to even 16 weeks. It really depends. It's a, it's a wide range, but you'll see offerings from MIT, Harvard, Yale. There's a lot of programs out there. So again, there's plenty of options. Make sure to check them all out. And these are also programs that you apply for and get accepted to and all of that. So again, it's a bit of a process and you go through the universities or you go through the organizations themselves to do it all. So between all those options, there's really no excuse to not want to advance your education, to not want to advance your career and skill up. There's something here for everyone at any price point that you can imagine from free to, of course, you can spend many thousands of dollars or tens of thousands for degree programs. But ultimately, it depends on your goals and what you're looking to get out of this education and what you're looking to do with your career. So folks, let me know down in the comments below what you think of edX and whether you've had any experience with some of the courses and how it might have helped you in your career. So again, make sure to check the description below where I've got the link to edX. Explore everything it has to offer, everything that I shared with you here in this video and leave me a note. Let me know how your experience is once you do take it if you haven't already. So with that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around.